reportedly short takeoff and landing aircraft, it competed roughly in the same segment as the Twin Otter from Canada and the short sky van from Ireland, another chubby design too. The Arava was influenced by the Nord Neuratlas from France, a plane already being used in Israel. Unlike the heavy Neuratlas, the Arava was much smaller and shorter. Instead of a retractable gear, it had a rugged fixed landing gear, which would help keep the design simple, lower cost, and better suited for bumpy runways. With the tail separated from the fuselage, loading the plane up was a breeze. You could crack the fuselage open and toss in anything wide enough to fit inside. This design feature was a nod to another chubby design, the Miles Aerovan. The Arava was powered by reliable Pratt & Whitney PT6 turboprops with 750 horsepower, giving it plenty of power, if not speed. It could carry up to 20 passengers or up to 5,000 pounds of cargo. Israeli Aircraft Industries was optimistic and projected to sell between 400 to 600 Aravas to the civilian market. Maybe because of its looks or maybe because it just looks slow, no one seemed interested in the Arava. It certainly didn't help that one of the prototypes crashed. Even the Israeli Air Force had no interest in the poor plane. At that point, the whole program was in danger of getting cancelled by the Israeli government. Eventually, the Arava sold in Central and South America, where it felt at home on rough airstrips and its wide fuselage was found quite useful. Israeli aircraft industries then tried to market the plane as a 19-seat passenger plane, but the Arava lost out to the Bondurante and Metroliner, which were much faster on the same horsepower, and looked a lot better too. Curiously, the Arava could be equipped as a ground attack aircraft, complete with machine guns or rocket pods. It doesn't seem like any were used this way though. A total of about 90 Aravas were sold. Number 4. The Jamburu is a success story from Australia, producing hundreds of aircraft between factory-built light sport planes and kit planes. Jamburu also produces engines, which power both their own planes and hundreds of other kit planes around the world. 